for me, this has been a vast improvement in my quality of life while I'm out here on the trail. I don't know, it just kind of turns an awning room into a home for me. I travel around in all kinds of different environments, do a lot of camping, and with that, I get to really put gear to the test. I'm not just here to sell you crap. Now I'll put affiliate links on some of the stuff, and I truly do appreciate it if you choose to use those links. But that's not what this is about. This is about me testing things out and helping you make a better decision to see if it's gonna be a good fit for you. I wanna do a quick video on this map that I've been using inside my awning. I really like it. It's called the mountain map. As you can see, it is pretty good sized. That is the downside of this map. It's just the actual size that it is. It's a little bit difficult to store, but I find it so useful that uh, I'm willing to sacrifice the space. Setting it up is pretty easy. Roll it out. I'm gonna open it up. It's got grommet locations, as well as this nice fabric that kind of holds everything together on the edges. It's a bit of trial and error in the beginning. Once you get it folded though, you can leave it folded. As a side effect, it makes this side super squishy. It's decently thick, it's not crazy thick, but it's got this plastic weave that really kind of makes things pretty nice, gives it a little bit of cushion, and allows some of the dirt to go through. Smaller particles, of course. Bigger particles, you're gonna be stuck sweeping it up. All right, let's look up some of the specs. All right, they've got multiple sizes. Sorry, on their website, because I can't remember all this stuff. They've got five by seven mats, three by six. Particular one that I have is an eight by 12. So that's why I've got that four feet of doubled up section. It is a 450 gram weave weight. I don't know, I guess that means it's kind of thick and comfortable on your feet. Um, UV protectant. I don't keep mine in the sun, I haven't tested that eco-friendly. These mats are woven from 100% recycled polypop... Eh. These mats are woven from 100% recycled polypropylene. So that's nice. Save the environment. They say they're mold and mildew resistant. I haven't noticed either mold or mildew in the, I don't know, what is it, four months that I've been using it. It says it provides a waterproof barrier between the ground and you. Yeah, I'll buy that as long as the water doesn't get over that thick. It's not going to float like a raft. It does come with a very nice carry bag. Um, it's even got a little pocket here for maybe keeping the stakes or something like that in it. Carry handles. And the zippers have been holding up for me. It's also got six stainless steel grommets around the edges where you're able to stake it down if you need to. So if you're taking it to the beach or something like that. All right, that's the specs. Now let's talk real life. I've had my dog in this awning room for, gosh, I want to say maybe about 30 nights of camping, and he has not caused a single rip in it. Um, I also put tables and chairs in here all the time um, and spend a great deal of time working at them, and I haven't noticed any particular wear in those sections where I've been using it that way. Overall, I am super happy. My one complaint is that they don't have an eight by eight size because as nice as this extra padding is where it's folded over, I would rather have the space savings. I was looking at cutting this thing down and even emailed the company to ask them, you know, kind of what was the process? Could I use a hot knife to cut through the plastic? And they did not recommend it because it's very easy for it to come unfrayed. So that's why I've gone with the fold over method. The business is veteran owned. So support your veterans. I'm biased, I hope you are too. That's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Till next time, enjoy the ride or enjoy the nap.